The Airbus A320 wasn't just another airliner. In 1988, it became the first jet to fly with a digital nervous system. Until then, pilots were literally connected to the wings by cables, pulleys and hydraulics. The A320 ripped all of that out and replaced it with something radical computers. When a pilot moved the side stick, they weren't tugging cables anymore. They were sending an electronic signal. That signal passed through flight control computers that decided how much the ailerons or elevators should move. And here's the kicker. The A320 wouldn't let you push the aircraft beyond its safety envelope. Bank too hard, it caps at 67 degrees. Pull too hard, it locks the pitch. Stall or overspeed, blocked before it happens. This was full flight envelope protection. The jet literally refusing to let pilots break it in normal law. For some, it felt like a safety net. For others, it was computers stealing authority. But no one could deny it was revolutionary. Today, every Airbus and even Boeing's 777 and 787 uses digital fly-by-wire. What began with a gamble on the A320 became the standard for the entire industry. Airbus didn't just build a narrow-body jet, they changed how pilots fly. So here's the debate. Is Airbus right to put computers in charge of the limits, or should pilots always hold the final say?